always inspiring to see young people dedicated to their work. Camille Colbert has put a lot of heart into her new role as associate producer with Creative Arts. I am proud to pass the mic to her for this special Meet the Tribe segment. My name is Camille. I want to introduce you to my great uncle. On today's Meet the Tribe, he tells his story. Meet Tribal Elder Earl Roy Colbert. I'm 81 years old. I was raised in Providence, Rhode Island. I have one brother that passed a year ago, here, right here. And I have one sister, Maria, that lives in Providence. My daughter died at three years old of sickle cell anemia, and Roy died at 51. In 1943, I went into the Army. I drove a gas supply truck all through Belgium, France, Germany, uh, uh, Frankfurt, Germany, Nuremberg, Hirschfeld. I was running work. at the same time, running work for the same company. I got, got honorable discharge. I came here in, uh, well, 19, I married in 64, so I was here a year before that, about 63. And there was nothing there. But they had little trailers that uh, the tribal members lived in. I was working at a tire company and decided to go for myself and I, I started my own business, tire service. I've been very fortunate. I guess it's the work I did all these years. I've had a motorcycle since time began, almost. I like riding, I like traveling, I do a lot of driving. Somebody wants me to take them somewhere, I do it. I treat the people like I want to be treated. My philosophy on helping others, I've been through hell myself and I never could get a dime from nobody when I was coming up. So, long, now that I got a few bucks, I try to help everybody I can. When they have Skaminska, I usually walk when, when they have the entry, the grand entry. Yeah, it makes me feel real good. But I've lived a good life, I've been lucky. Earl Roy Kolba is a prime example of hard work and honor, a man who freely shares his blessings, a true example of Pequot pride. For FNN, I'm his proud niece, Camille.